Yo, what's up? Welcome to the kind of funny first impressions of Super Mario 3D All Stars. I'm one of your host, Blessing Adioye Jr. Joining me is Super Tim Getty 64. Oh, that's me, man. That's, that's me. You, How man. you doing, Bless? I'm doing real good because I get to see this game get played. Oh, yes, you do. I've been playing it. I've been playing a lot of it, actually, uh, over the last week and a half, I would say. Uh, specifically, Mario 64. Okay. Uh, I've been good. playing playing a whole bunch of I think I have 79 of the, the stars so far. So um, you're almost there because what it's 80 to get Bowser, right? Or is it 70? It's 70, 70. Okay. I, I already beat the game. I, I beat Bowser. Um, and then Sunshine and Galaxy. I just played enough to get through the tutorial bits and into the the kind of like the hub. Right, where oh we have the conservatory yeah. over in uh, Galaxy, and we have the Al- Isle Delfino in uh, in Mario Sunshine. Uh, but like, let's just get into it real yeah. quick. Tim, right I, want, I want you, I want you to tell me more about this. But at, before you do, I want to let people know that this, of course, is kind of funny first impressions. Uh, each episode, we join you to talk about and play the new and exciting games that we're able to get our hands on. You can catch it right here on YouTube.com. So it's kind of funny games and on podcast services around the globe. Uh, today, we're taking a look at Super Mario 3D All Stars. Tim, man, it, I'm I'm I've been waiting for this. Of course, yeah. like we've been very excited for this game for a while, uh, and obviously, like it's not the remake that we wanted to be for Mario sixty four. Definitely uh, isn't. But I want I want to know like how's playing this upres ten eighty ver- version of Mario sixty four been? Man, it's Mario sixty four. So it's like it's a damn good time, no matter what. Is it extremely disappointing that it's still four by three and that it, it's not it the remake that we kind of expected? Yeah, it's very disappointing. Does that make it any less quality of a game? Absolutely not. Uh, but it is a bummer seeing this package, and I'm about to show you right now, kind of the menus and stuff, and you'll get mm-hmm. what I'm saying about how bare bones this collection is. So it starts off, we have that fun little uh, shine get music thing, and then this is the menu. Oh, Every time you play, it has a different song playing. Right now, we got uh, Pina Beach from Mario Six or Mario Sunshine playing up there. Nice. Uh, and then at the bottom of the screen, you can see Mario Sixty Four, Sunshine, Galaxy, and then the three soundtracks. That's cool. it. And that's it. That's it. All right. You know, I mean, that's cool, <laughs> but you exactly. Know. And it's one of those things where I'm like, all right, what do I expect? I don't know. <laughs> a little yeah. more than this. Look at like things like Rare Replay. There's just so much love put into collections of classic games. And this just, it, it kind of feels like, like not enough pomp and circumstance. Even the original Mario All-Stars, the menu had like all the Mario characters kind of hanging out, drinking together. And like there was a, a vibe yeah. to it. Like it, it felt like a fun celebration. This, the little time at the top left, kind of neat. Yeah, that's you cool. Know, yeah, jump that's through cool a little, there. there's the little paragraph kind of explaining and, the game. I love the blurbs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, that's at least nice. And then, yeah, like like we were saying, you can go into the soundtracks and, you know, play whatever song. Okay. And that's cool. basically, like, that's the same, it's the same UI from Smash Brothers Ultimate for when you go into the soundtracks there. It looks exactly. Like. Exactly. And then the music plays during the, the menu, which is, which is a fun little touch. That's but cool. I want to get right into Mario 64. Oh, my God. So yeah, then there's these these loading screens that uh, take the key art from the games, uh, which hurts Mario. because this game could have looked like that, as proven by the PC for it. <laughs> yeah. But here we go. Obviously, it's the iconic moment. You can stay here forever, just pulling on Mario, any which way. You gotta right? love it. I love that you they don't... added the they updated the UI, so it's press plus as opposed to press but start. More than that, though, bless. And it's one of those things you look at this and you're like, oh, this is how the game used to look. That's so not true. And 64 had such a blur to it. Everything looked like Vaseline was kind of smushed on it, you know? Mm -hmm. Specifically, the HUD. Look at that press plus. It is sharp. That's where the 1080p really actually shines. Uh, So going in here, like, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the, look at how crisp the, uh, the font is right yeah really no, everything quick. does look better i just want to say that that menu music when you're selecting your save is underrated oh, oh no it's so good so much music in this game is underrated but yeah <laughs> here we go like already it does look a lot better and and it that does. is something that, that that i gotta give it and we've seen emulation in these games for so long so we know what this game could look like in 1080 but to really see it with the hud and everything obviously it feels just as good as it always has uh but it it, it this is the prettiest Mario 64 has ever looked on a Nintendo console. So, For sure. there's that. But, that's at least nice. It's 4x3. 
What yeah. what star what star do you want me to get here? One of the early uh, ones. Oh man, let's go to Dire Dire Dog. Actually, no. You know what? Swimming can be annoying sometimes. Let's go to uh, what's called Snow Snow Mountain. Cool, cool. Mountain. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. So again, it's kind of the experiences you're playing through it where you just notice how sharp everything is. So it is. It, it does take me by surprise still this many hours into playing this game where I'm like, oh, wow, that actually is really pretty. Does it feel better to play with the Joy-Cons? Um, I'm playing with the Pro Controller, mm -hmm. so I don't know about the Joy-Cons, but so I, the I Joy can handle the quite Pro a Controller bit. feels nice, though? Oh, it feels real good. Yeah. And, I, you know, we've played Mario 64 so many times over the years, like on the, the different, on the Wii eShop, on the Wii U eShop, so I'm used to playing it with other controllers. Mm -hmm. So, How yeah, does that work with the camera? Because I know the camera has like a jerk motion to it. Is that I'm I'm assuming that's on the right analog stick. Yes, it is the right analog stick, and it is absolutely not uh, full it's range of motion. It's yeah, the same. It same functions as if it's a C the C buttons. Okay, that's why I expect. on the thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So there you go. I mean, you can't matter. expect much more from that, but yeah, I, was just I wanted curious. to jump off there so I can show you the C stick. Mm. Mamma mia! So yeah, it's like hitting down on the analog. Okay. Like whatever you do, it just kind of like it functions as buttons, not as like a a smooth thing, which exactly. gets me a couple times because there's moments like when you go into first person, like there was a couple of red coins I forgot where they were, so I was trying to like get a lay of the land, and you're using the left stick yeah, to, look to look around, and it's kind of it's kind of weird. You're not really used to it, uh, but hey, what what you gonna do? What can you expect? How, yeah. uh, do you mind going to? I want to read a read a sign. I want to see what that looks like. Or like talk to Toad or something. I just want to see what like the oh, dialogue okay, gotcha. UI looks Let's like. Let's go. Where's this Toad at? Okay, so that looks cleaner. Because I remember oh, when we before that the yeah. letters look super jagged. Absolutely. Um, the funny thing though is like everything looks so good, but there's still a lot of of pop in issues where this is still the same N64 game. Like coins that are clearly there won't pop in until you're close enough. And that's kind of a bummer for a game like this. And those are the type of improvements that I would have really liked to have seen for a game as classic as this. Like, I, I really wish that this was the definitive version of this game. And honestly, it's just a really good version of a classic game, you know? Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. Uh, actually, can we check out Bowser's, the, the first Bowser of level? Of course we can. Quick? With the so I saw you, you getting close to that door, yeah. and I was like, I kind of want to see what's behind that door, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, a quick question, Tim. How does the, the mapping of the, the buttons feel, like, on the on the new controller? Because uh, from what I remember, for or what I know from Wii U, when they were porting all the N64 games over to the Wii U, it was always kind of felt weird where they ended up putting a lot of the, the classic buttons. So, this feels good because... They, they made a very smart call. Uh, with Mario games, uh, especially because Nintendo has always had such a weird button layout that the A and B button kind of switch places depending on if you're playing on Game Boy versus NES versus yeah. Super Nintendo. Like, which one's on top is always weird. Uh, they give us the option here where both Y and X both punch and function as the B button, and A and B both jump and function like the A button on the N64. So you kind of have your options. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah that, that, I feel like that that is how it should feel. Like the X, the X and Y placement being the... Yeah, totally. Seems right. So, cool stuff, how far man. do you want me to get in this one, Bless? Actually, I was going to say, we can jump into, into Sunshine and see how that yeah, looks. Let's get, it, let's get into Sunshine. So, that's the other thing. To switch games, super easy, super fast. You just hit okay. the, the minus button. You get this very bare bones uh, menu. By the way, controls, you can't change them. It is what it is. It's locked. Uh, yeah, that hasn't right. bothered me really too much, but I just feel like every game should give you the option. Um, returning to title selection brings you back to the menu. Um, something that I have noticed jumping between the games, Mario controls a lot differently between them than your mind you realized. Yeah. Like I, I was always like, oh, okay, it's bit different variations. You have so much more control in Sunshine than you do in uh, really? 64 or a galaxy but also the controls are just different like um he doesn't have a long jump uh so instead of doing like the you know the kind of left trigger yeah. jump combo to to get the speed instead it's a lot more jumping and diving as he like slides on his belly 
So that's using the like the other buttons, the face buttons instead See, of the. Uh, this is gonna be my first true experience with Sunshine because I've Ooh. only played maybe the first level via emulator. I've not actually played through Sunshine because I've never. I like I grew up without a GameCube, mm -hmm. uh, and so I've never actually got the shot. So this is like the one 3D Mario that I've been missing out on, and hearing that it doesn't have a long jump already is like, oh snap! I didn't. I wouldn't even have expected that. But here's the thing: it doesn't have a long jump, but it it does have a equivalent and i'll show you what i'm talking about in a second but uh as you can see here 16 by 9 uh what, this game what, is this the first time it's been 16 by 9 you know i don't gamecube had the ability to output at widescreen uh with 40p mm -hmm. but i don't i don't think sunshine was i think this is the first time that it's it's available in widescreen and it really I mean, benefits from it it's yeah, definitely the first say, time it looks great with it. Yeah, it it's it's real nice. Uh, so the Y button, which like used to be the B button, <laughs> mm -hmm. where your thumb would be, uh, it does this like dive. Okay. So that functions kind of as the the long jump because you use that and you get that extra air there. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, and then obviously like you have all the, the, the water X still powers. Looks like a GameCube button, which I appreciate. Oh yeah. Like in the, in the bottom right in the UI. Mm -hmm. So that allows you to change between your two different uh, water powers that I have right now. So to be able to shoot, this is one of those weird GameCube, like very Nintendo things where they make controls matched on the controller at hand. And that doesn't necessarily translate well when you're playing on a console 15 years in the future. Uh, aiming the water is a bizarre, bizarre thing. <laughs> So really? you hold down the left trigger, like we're kind of used to in modern games. The right shoots the water, but then you're using the left stick to aim up and down. <laughs> oh. So okay, yeah, that is weird. Your mind just gets kind of like tricked out for a second, but you get used to it. As I was playing for a little bit, I was like, all right, cool. But talking about the more maneuverability that Mario has, like in, in 64, obviously he had this little like flip jump that gets mm. you a lot of air there, right? Uh, but another thing he has here is if you spin the controller around and jump, you get that nice. super, super fast spin. Yeah, that they gets kept you a lot that in Odyssey. Height. That's what my exactly. favorite was in Odyssey. And so that's the thing is this game, uh, I, I popped into Odyssey just to make sure I wasn't crazy. And yeah, it plays way more similarly to Odyssey than it does to 64. Really? And okay, Galaxy, you know what? That actually excites me. Galaxy plays more like 64. Really? Yeah. See, I wouldn't have expected that. But I guess that, that kind of lines up the more I think I about do. it. The water was always one of the most beautiful things about Mario Sunshine, and that is still true. It's still... Oh, my God. It's very, very impressive water. I forgot, uh, where do you stand on Sunshine as a game? Sunshine is definitely the worst of the 3D Mario games, but it's a very good game. It's just, as a Mario game, it's not the 10 out of 10 classic that I think Every pretty much the other rest of the 3D... Yeah, like... It, Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, 64, Odyssey, all of them, I would say, are 10 out of 10s. Even 3D World. So so it's like the Skyward Sword of Mario games, is what you're saying. Kind of. Yeah. I, I would say some, I like Sunshine more than Skyward Sword. That's a, No, that's fair, but the Skyward Sword is the equivalent of, like, it's not a bad game, but as a Zelda game. It's okay, like not yes. in the upper echelons of other three yes, yes, yes. games. That's what I. That's and, the comparison I made. And you know, a lot of that has to do with just the. A lot of the locales are very similar because of this theme, and the camera. While a problem in '64, I feel uh, the levels were designed a little bit better around seeing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so much height that you get, like uh, because of the water oh, powers, yeah. that you get into some kind of weird in between nooks and crannies that the camera just wigs out and like there's a pachinko level that's going to be the bane of your existence. I'm oh sorry God. that you have to experience that. But uh, let's move over to uh, Galaxy. Yeah, I want to see how Galaxy looks. Because yeah, Galaxy, I think I might have played on uh, like a what's called 3-4, 4-3 three, four, four, three mm -hmm. resolution TV. And so I've, I've not actually experienced this game in, in HD. So I guess on the Wii, yeah, originally it wouldn't have been HD. Yeah, no, no, no. It was 480p. But here's the thing, man. Mario Galaxy was always beautiful, even on the Wii, because it had such strong art direction. And seeing it now in HD, oh, that shines through so beautifully. Mm, sun shines uh, through. It sun shines through. Now, here's what doesn't shine through great about this game. 
plus. The controls oh, are no. a little wacky, just a little <laughs> wacky. And again, a lot of this collection is, you're just gonna have to get used to it. And once your mind clicks, it's gonna be totally fine. But even here, I just wanna get in, right? I'm hitting A, can't do it. I need to press R to pull up the cursor. Oh and then, no. Oh, I'm having trouble here. I need to actually use the motion control of this. Really? Oh no, wait, this is bad. Oh, so you okay. have to, there it is. So you have to use motion in this game. Yeah. Use the motion to control the, uh, the little, the stick, which makes sense. There's a lot of stuff that you have to, to. Of course, you got to collect the bits for, right? using the motion. Yeah. You got to like attach the bubbles and stuff using the motion. But yeah, my switch is over there. So I need to like aim it there because that's what counts as the IR thing. But it's fully, it's playable though with a pro controller. Oh, absolutely. Matters. And it, it feels good. Yeah, so we got the long jump back there. Wait, and so yeah, how does that? Do you know how that works on handheld? Uh, like the motion stuff? Or are you able to play touch this screen. handheld? Touch screen. Oh, okay. That's how it works. And okay. it's not the worst thing, but it's never convenient in handheld to. It's a little too heavy to hold it with like one, one hand and then touch yeah. the screen. And with Galaxy, it's always more of like a a nice thing to be able to collect all the the bits that are flying around you, the star bits. Um, but it is kind of a bummer that you just don't have that ability. When I was playing on Wii, there was a lot of just running around and kind of just constantly shaking a bit. Yeah. Have you, you tried? Know? Have you tried yeah, yeah. playing with uh, just the Joy Cons? Uh, in like a, yes. Uh, in Doctor. Just playing just the Joy Cons is the traditional Mario Galaxy experience, mm. and honestly, it feels really good. Okay. But even like I was saying, you get used to it, so it's not the end of the world. It's just. There's realities about this game and its control scheme that translating it to a traditional controller, it's kind of hard. So yeah. whenever you want, you can hold down the R button and that's what turns in, into this, this thing that I, and oh. yeah, so. Oh. It. So yeah, you hit R and that's it pops it up. That's an interesting way of doing it. Wait, yeah. so how do you do like the spin move? Cause that's usually the, you shake the, so, to do that. Yes, and here you either shake it, and it, and it does it, or you can just hit a button. Okay, that's convenient. So, thank that's God. Nice. Yeah, and it's like, I honestly want to commend them with the Galaxy job that they did. There's a couple of bizarre choices, like that original menu in the beginning forcing you to hit R, but I think that they do that to like teach you, just be like, like register. this is going to be something you're going to need to do a lot. Yeah. Um. But yeah. That makes sense. It's, it's very exciting to be able to play these games again, especially Sunshine and Galaxy, which we've never really had <laughs> ported, yeah. you know? No, yeah, I think that's going to be the real cool thing, right? Is like having all these, th having all three of these games in a place together where you can just play them conveniently, you know, on the mm -hmm. Switch is going to be big. I'm still sad about Galaxy 2. I don't understand why they didn't. And yeah. I imagine that's because they want to sell it separately because they probably can. But that's a missed opportunity. Uh, but who knows? Maybe Mario All Stars 3 2. Yeah, you know, we get Galaxy Two, and then we get the the 3D World games. So right now, my switch is over there. I'm I'm aiming this way, and it's it's working. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, but yeah. So I just like would aim it there, and then boom, it pulls me to it. Which we'll see playing through the game when we get to the harder galaxies, like how well that holds up. Yeah, <laughs> I mean overall, have you been able? Uh, I know you said you haven't played too much of this yet, but like so far, have you been able to maneuver pretty well? Like, does it is, does it feel like a challenge at all when it switched over to the pro controller as opposed uh, to the Wii mount? It's it's just frustrating. Like I was saying, like even right now, it's just like there's certain things that I wish would work. Like right now, looking at this screen, I'd imagine that moving the analog stick in some way should help me, and it doesn't. Yeah. I need to press R to. Get the cursor back and then go over to it. Again, Wait, does that does that translate the end of the to like, world? Does it's that translate weird. to being Mario, like jumping around in the world? Like, are, are there moments where you wish you could do the spin move where it doesn't work, or like, I guess like the the bubble stuff is later on where you have to like yes, click have the to, bubbles that's right. To I didn't get to too much of the bubble stuff, but even in this first introductory level, like, there's a lot of stuff that's going on that uh, has those moments. Uh, for, I guess I didn't save after because I did play a little further than this before, but um, you gotta save. Yeah, God, I, I, I miss this game, Dude, man. the music is so good, man. I forgot how good music was. Because, like, when I, when I originally played this game, I played it back-to-back -back with Galaxy 2 because I got it wow. way later. 
Yeah, and so like Galaxy, Galaxy One in my brain never really stood out because like when I went to Galaxy Two, I was like, oh cool, Yoshi, and the two games kind of mold together. Yeah. But looking back, like Galaxy One kind of had a special like aesthetic to it, right? Like, oh, not, man. And that's like that even goes I think further beyond just the art style, but just like the tone of it, the um, uh, what you call it, like the hub world, I forget what it's called. I want to call it the atrium, but I think it's the something else. Comet Observatory. Yes, the observatory. Thank you. Um, like all that stuff, the music, like it has its own, it has its own energy that I'd say is separate from Galaxy Two that works for it that makes it stand out. Oh yeah, and I appreciate it a lot. I always preferred Galaxy Two because I feel like the uh, the hub worlds of the Comet Observatory was never as fun as Peach's Castle, for like, sure, it, it, or even as Al Delfino. And I think that them going to just the the Mario ship <laughs> in Galaxy yeah. Two. They were kind of like, all right, let's just get you the next level because that's what you want to do. Yeah, they're like, we know what this is. Let's get you Let's get you through the game. But the um, sense of wonder that this music gives you, yeah. in addition to the feel of it, like everyone remembers the first time they did something like this where the gravity just like yeah. pulls. And it just, this game is truly special. something special. And I'm happy that so many people are going to get to play it for the first time and so many people get to play it again. Tim, final thoughts on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It's a fantastic collection of games that I really wish was given about 50% more love and care. And it's a true bummer that uh, some corners were cut in ways that I think are going to be uh, true detriments to what this game could have been. But at the end of the day, these are classic games. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's still Mario. Like, I know I'm still going to play it and probably end up loving it. Uh, we'll see about Sunshine. Let's We'll see how I feel about that one. But given my track record, I'll probably love that one, too. The game is out Friday, September 18th on the Switch, and so look out for that. Uh, of course, this has been Kind of Funny First Impressions. Like I said before, you can get it right here on YouTube.com. So it's Kind of Funny Games and on podcast services around the globe. I've been Blessing. That's been Tim. That's been Barrett on the ones and twos. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.